Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and thank you for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So making sure that your chair is stable and that you've got a whole lot of space around you so you're not bumping yourself as we move. Gather around you anything you might need, a glass of water, maybe some um, things for relaxation later on and let's begin. So feet at a comfortable distance. You can pick up through the toes if you like, fan the toes out as wide as possible, almost like a good morning stretch through the toes. You can even pick up the balls of the feet and stretch through the soles of the feet all the way through the tippy toes. Keep that connection down to your feet. Take the balls of the feet down evenly, so no more pressure on the inside than the outside, so it's even and balanced. And then we'll take those toes lightly down to the floor, connecting down to the surface underneath you, noticing that texture, and noticing that underneath there eventually is the earth. So allowing the weight of your legs to rest into the earth. Taking your awareness up towards your seat. You can allow the flesh of your seat to come out and away from you. You can wiggle from side to side, adjusting how it is that you are sitting today. Deciding if you like the support of the chair behind you, then take it. If you want to sit away from the back of the chair, supporting your own spine, then notice how that feels. And of course, play and come in between and backwards and forwards as you need to. We'll root down through our seat into the chair, ultimately again, the earth underneath us. Get heavy from the pelvis downwards. So we're really grounded and connected. You might even notice as you do that, is there any tension and tightness, especially around your abdomen, that is resisting that support of the chair? And if there is, take a breath in. Exhale, release that tension. And take as many breaths as you need to allow that softening to happen. When you're ready, lifting up through the spine, through the crown of the head. There's a slight tuck of the chin as the back of the neck gets long. Roll the shoulders back and down in your own way. Any intuitive movements that feel good to you, trust that. And then we'll settle the shoulders back and away from the ears, broadening across the collarbones to broaden across the upper chest, giving our organs a whole lot of space, our heart a whole lot of space simply to be. Noticing if you want to bring your shoulders a little more forward or a little more back to balance them over the hips. And all of this is going to be different for each and every one of us because we're put together differently. Are we're all dealing with different things. So you're listening to my suggestions, playing around with them, but ultimately deciding what feels right for your body, working with your body, not against it. So we'll take a big breath in when you're ready. Keep the shape, but release the tension. And do that a couple of times. Nice big breath in. Exhale, releasing and relaxing. And noticing that there's little shifts and movements that really feel good to you. And then we'll take a moment, feel free to lower your gaze, close your eyes if you're comfortable. Take a moment and tune into this moment. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if there's a lot on your mind. And be compassionate with yourself to what's present. Not wanting it to be anything different, just allowing it. We spend so much of our time resisting what is, and generally what we resist persists. So welcome it in. And then take your awareness in towards your physical body. Maybe starting at the soles of your feet down on that earth. And then gradually drawing your awareness like a scan up through 
through your body bit by bit, noticing sensations, noticing energy, noticing things that you need to take extra care of today. Drawing that awareness slowly all the way up, trying to stay away from judgments, trying to stay away from stories that are attached to sensations, till you get all the way up to the crown of your head. And then in your own time, from the crown of your head on an exhale, simply let go of tension and tightness on the exhale. And if that means intuitive movements, then go ahead. Shifting. A lot of the time, just this tiniest shift makes the biggest of difference. And then when you're ready, again, keeping your eyes soft, lowered, or closed, start to bring your awareness to your breath as it is. Starting to notice the breath coming in and out, maybe breathing in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you today. And I offer that because breathing in and out through the nose is one of the quickest ways to settle down the central nervous system. But if that is not there for you today for whatever reason, then no judgment, just come to an easy breath for you. Again, being compassionate with yourself, with where you are in this moment, with not only your thoughts, your feeling, your body, but your breath as well. And we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale in your own way. We all breathe differently. There's no wrong way to breathe. That expansive inhale, that grounding exhale, starting to steady that breath all the way up to the top of the breath, all the way down to the bottom. So the inhale and exhale get as smooth as we can make it. And by smooth, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're never looking for perfect. We're just doing our best. Steadying the inhale, steadying the exhale. that breath, that longer, steadier breath, once again letting go of any tension, any tightness that may have built up in your body or your breath, so it becomes a little softer, a little easier, a little more sustainable. And there we have the longer, smoother, softer breath, and we bring that breath into our practice, knowing that we can always come back to this longer, smoother, softer breath to check in with ourselves, notice how we're doing. So get comfortable and familiar with that breath as you root down, feet and seat to rise and broaden. Longer, smoother, softer breath. And with the very tip of your nose, you can start to create lazy circles in front of you as if you're drawing circles the tip of your nose within the air. Eyes soft, lowered or closed. As you do this, notice how this feels in your body. That interception. Always adjusting, giving yourself permission to change the movement to work with your body, not against it. befriending your body rather than pushing and forcing it. Let's take another couple of movements, bigger, smaller, all the same, lazy circles, always resting should you need to. The end of the next exhale will pause and start smaller in the opposite direction. Start lazy. The breath guides you, the inhale lifts the chin, the exhale draws it down. You might notice some areas that are easier than others. 
Enjoy that ease rather than focus on the challenge. Always resting, should this not feel right to you, or taking another movement if you prefer. Trust your intuition. At the end of the next exhale, you're going to draw the chin down towards your chest and stay for a few breaths. Broaden the collarbones, maybe lean the shoulders back a few millimeters, breathing into the back of your neck, top of your shoulders, upper back. Not forcing anything. So if you feel like you're straining, please back off. Draw your nose just a little bit away from the earth to allow the body to feel safe here. Stay for as long as you like, or on your next inhale, we'll draw the crown of the head up towards neutral. Dangling that right hand down, allowing that arm to be nice and soft, and we're circling through that shoulder, getting those shoulder joints moving. The rest of our body is as stable as possible. As we inhale and exhale, longer, smoother, softer breaths, and the movement, longer, smoother, and softer, mirroring the breath as best as you can. Again, always noticing the challenging areas and doing your best to smooth that out. When you're ready, we'll pause and take that lazily round in the other direction, noticing where you feel this in your body. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's take another two here. And then coming back to center, broadening the collarbones and taking the palm out, bent elbow. And we're gonna keep this arm as still and as stable as possible. Imagine that right hand has a rag on it and there's, it's planted on a plane of glass or a window. And from the entire shoulder here, we're circling, scrubbing the shoulder. So that left hand of mine is, or I'm mirroring you, is circling as if that right shoulder blade were circling too. So you can imagine, even close your eyes if you like, imagine that right shoulder blade behind you, creating circles just like you did with your nose and with your shoulder. You might feel this in very different places than your shoulder often keeping that elbow bent that arm is like stable and still nothing's moving there but the shoulder and then when you're ready pause and rest if you want to or taking that round in the opposite direction inhaling and exhaling the circling coming from that shoulder from the shoulder blade rather than through the arm. The arm itself is as still as possible, moving from the shoulder girdle. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. And then the next exhale, we'll pause, dangle that arm down. Any movement you need, take a soft or tight fist, and we're circling through the wrist, nice and slow. Longer, smoother, softer breath, softer movement. Take that round in the opposite direction. All of these movements can be done with your eyes soft, lowered, or closed. And then from there, spreading those fingers out wide and then curling that palm up into a fist as if you're screwing up a piece of paper. Inhaling, spreading the fingers as wide as possible like it shoots stars from the end of them and curl them up. And then give that hand a little shake. Taking that right hand back to support. From here, left arm dangles down nice and easy through the joints, broad across the collarbones. And on the inhale, we're circling that shoulder on the left side here. Inhaling up, exhaling, grounding down, whichever direction you're going. Doesn't have to be a big movement, but what we want is it to be blended with the breath. 
noticing how you experience this in your body. Notice where you experience it. Again, working with your body, not against it, not forcing anything that doesn't feel right. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Feel free to rest in between. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Lazy movements. And then when you're ready, we'll pause any intuitive movements to release tension, go ahead. I'm gonna bend the left elbow, take the palm out, spread through the fingers, and now this arm, as if it was just static in space. So we're not gonna bend through the elbow or the wrist, we're gonna keep it there, moving from the shoulder blade on that left shoulder, and we're circling, so it's out, down, back in and up. And the rest of our body is as still as possible. It doesn't mean that parts of it are not working with this movement. You might feel this in very different places than your shoulder. You might feel it through your ribs, through your back, maybe through your belly, through your chest, across the shoulder on the opposite side. Inhaling and exhaling, getting that range of motion and control through the left shoulder. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction as if that left hand is shining a circle on a window pane in front of it. Inhaling and exhaling, everything controlled and steady. Always rest should you need to. Bigger isn't better here, so if a smaller movement suits your body, then that's what is done. Let's take another couple here. And then at the end of that exhale, we're gonna pause. Uh, dangle that hand, take the hand in a soft or tight fist and we're circling through the wrist one direction, inhaling and exhaling, and then lazily back in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. When you're ready, spread those fingers and thumb out really wide. And like a big stretch and then on the exhale slowly curl the fist in as tight as feels comfortable for you and we'll do that one more time spread the hand really nice and wide and then we'll curl it in like we're scrunching paper into the tightest ball and then release taking the hands down to the thighs if you are sitting into the chair i highly recommend sliding away from the back of the chair a little bit that way we can start to get into the movement of the flexion and extension through the spine rooting to rise once again the shoulders are broad and lowered on the inhale i'm going to draw the front ribs forward so we arch in the back as the hands draw towards the pelvis on the exhale fingertips slide towards or on the knees as the belly scoops back of the ribs towards the back of the chair and cat and cow seated cat and cow nice and slow movement so we've got this longer smoother softer breath and that longer, smoother, softer quality is guiding the movement. So there's very little stillness here, inhaling and exhaling, easing into the movement. The body likes to be eased in gently. If we try and push it, what happens is the muscles start to contract to keep you safe. So allowing the body to ease into its own rhythm, inhaling and exhaling. Option on the inhale to draw the shoulder blades toward each other as you maybe lift the chin. Consider lifting through the back of the neck rather than compression. On the exhale, chin comes down. You can take this all the way down through the lower back. On the inhale, send the tailbone out behind you. 
And on the exhale, tuck the tailbone like you're sitting onto the back of the pelvis any amount. You can take this all the way down through the feet. On the inhale, dragging the heels of your feet towards the chairs, not that they'll move. On the exhale, push down into the soles of your feet and you'll feel the muscles of your legs starting to awaken a whole body movement. If you want to add the arms, on the inhale, let's take those arms wide, elbows in towards your ribs. On the exhale, we're gonna take the palms towards each other in front of you, shoot the fingers forward. On the inhale, taking them wide, we've got this open chest. On the exhale, wide open back body as the fingertips come towards each other. Inhale and exhale, allow this movement to be a flow. Everybody's going to have it a little differently. It's going to feel different for each and every one of us. So give yourself permission to do whatever it is that you need. Inhaling and exhaling. And if that takes away from the flexion and extension of the spine, then keep the hands down on the thighs. We've got another three. Inhaling and exhaling. What feels good for you? Longer, smoother, softer breath and movement. Stay for the last exhale. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back up to center, take a big breath in. Exhale it out and settle that energy down. I'm going to bend through the elbows, take the palms in front of us once again as if they're resting on a pane of glass. Maybe they're far in front of you, maybe they're way back towards your shoulders, it doesn't matter. Roll the shoulders back and down so we're broad once again across the collarbones and we're rooting to rise. Steady the breath. This is the exhale on the inhale, starting with the right side. I'm going to slide that hand up that imaginary wall in front of you, reaching, and on the exhale, we're going to draw that down. And we're going to the left side, inhaling. Maybe this side is very different. It doesn't matter how high we go. What we want is the steadiness and the smoothness of the movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe you can reach up, getting that length through the right side. Again, try and stay away from judgments or stories that come up. Notice what's happening in your lower body here. So what often happens is as we take the um, one side up, the right hip would also lift with my right hand. So what we're trying to keep is the pelvis rooting down. In fact, draw down through the hip that you're raising the hand up on. And we're getting through the intercostal muscles, through the waistline, Nice and steady movement. You can allow your spine to gently tilt one side to another to allow that range of motion. Inhaling and exhaling. Longer, smoother, softer breath in and out. Let the movement again be slow enough that you can really listen to the language of your body. Let's take another two either side. Rest if you want to. Bigger is not better here. That exhale is just as important as the reach of the inhale. One more either side. Of course, you're going at your own pace. You don't need to match me. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take that. Let's hands all the way down. Let's take the elbows out and come to a cactus. This is the inhale, broaden across the collarbones. We're going to keep the bend through the elbows and exhale, take the fingertips down into a scarecrow. Inhaling and exhaling. Getting that joint through, the a range of motion through the joint of the shoulder here. Don't worry if one side of range of motion is very different from the other. That's just the way our bodies are through injuries, surgeries, through our repetition of our daily tasks. Inhaling and exhaling. And let's take one more here, staying for that exhale. And then you're going to take those arms all the way down. Intuitive movement through the upper body to release any tension. 
taking the hands all the way down, coming into a twist. Nice gentle twist. We're gonna be twisting two at the left to start with. Rooting down to rise, settle the energy, settle the breath. Back to that longer, smoother, softer breath. This is the inhale on the exhale, twisting to the left. Right hand comes forward, left hand draws back and coming back to center. So it's a nice gentle movement, glancing to the left, maybe over that left shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to keep flowing. Option for the last three, two, come into the twist and stay. If your hands are gripping a lot, then consider hovering your hands so your musculature is holding you here. Breathe. Come out a little more or deepen your choice. Stay for the last exhale if you're still there. And then we'll come all the way back to center. Nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Mm -hmm. Coming to the other side. Rooting to rise. That's the inhale on the exhale. Twisting to the right side this time. Inhaling and exhaling. Allowing the flow of the breath to guide the flow of the movement. The gaze can come back over that right shoulder if you want it to. And then the option is to keep flowing here. The option is to stay for the last three in the twist. Your choice, keeping that breath flowing longer, smoother, softer. Noticing if you're gripping with your hands, hover the hands. Soften where it's possible for you to soften. Play with that. Stay for the last exhale if you're still in the twist. And then we'll come all the way back to center. Big breath in. Exhale it out nice and slow. Nicely done. And then from here, taking the hands over the chest, you can link the thumbs if you want, rooting to rise. Lift the chest in towards the palms of the hands. This is the inhale on the exhale. I'm going to slide over towards the right side, inhaling back up to center and exhaling to the other side, getting into the lateral flexion of the spine. Inhaling and exhaling. Longer, smoother, softer breath is guiding you. Now as we're doing this, start to notice what's happening in the pelvis. As we tip to one side, the opposite hip tends to lighten. See if you can root that down so the pelvis is stable or really are isolating through the spine here. Option to stay here. Option to take the hands up on top of the head if that feels better for you or behind the lumpy bit behind you, the occipital lobe, and draw the elbows as wide as feels comfortable in the shoulders. Now we're taking the center of gravity a little higher. This is the inhale, same movement. Exhale towards one side, inhaling to center, exhaling to the other side. Now keeping those hips, the pelvis rooted down to the chair may mean that the movement is a little smaller. Keep the movement controlled, keep the breath longer, smoother and softer. Notice where you feel this. Any numbness or tingling in the hands or fingertips, you're taking your hands back to your heart or even lower down, dangling next to you. Option to keep flowing side to side. Option next time you come to the right side, we stay for three breaths. Be honest with yourself about your breath. Longer, smoother, and softer. If you need to come up a little more, please do. Broaden across those elbows. We'll stay for the last exhale here, keeping that left hip rooted. Inhaling up, exhaling to the left side. Right hip is... Um, Centered downwards, 
not lifting through the pelvis. Breathe, lift through the crown of your head. You get another full breath here, unless you're coming out and resting. On the inhale, we're coming all the way up. Wherever the hands are, we'll dangle them down. Intuitive movements through your arms. Give them a little shake if you want to. And we'll take the feet out a little wider. One side may be very different from the other. Maybe you want to sit more forward on your chair. If you want less support, further back on your chair if you want more support. Hands resting on the arms of your chair or your legs wherever you feel stable. And from here, we're hula hooping through the lower ribs. This is a very controlled movement. So longer, smoother, softer breath. And we bring those qualities into the movement itself. So the movement is long and luxurious. We smooth it out as best as we can. And then if there's any forcing that we find within that movement, we let it go, let it get a little softer. And then from there, allow the shoulders, the head, the neck to get involved, the hips. You might even notice the different pressures on your feet as you come from side to side and back to front. Make this movement your own, working with your body, not against it. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Start smaller always when we go in the opposite direction, allowing the body to open up in its own way. And then try to enjoy this movement. Change it, adapt it to work with your body. Mm -hmm. The breath longer, smoother and softer and the movement mirrors the breath as best as it can. And don't worry about places that feel less than smooth. We all have those places. That is why we're doing the movement controlled, lazy movement. Let's take another couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, in your own time, we'll come back to center. Drawing the feet back in towards parallel, rooting to rise. Soften the gaze or close the eyes if you're comfortable. And notice your body. That internal focus, introspection. How is your body feeling right now? Notice sensations, that subtle language of the body. Notice not only the loud sensations, but the quieter ones. You might notice that buzzing of the inner body energy. Allow the breath to settle the energy in the body with longer, smoother, softer breaths. Stay there for as long as you like. Expanding your awareness to this moment. And for those of you who would like to move forward, when you're ready, blink your eyes open or lift your gaze. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out like a sigh. And for those of you who want to, I will meet you down on the earth. Everything we do, and you can go ahead if you're going down to the earth, we'll meet on our backs. Otherwise, if you're staying in the chair and you want to do the same movements, we can be doing exactly, you can do exactly the same thing. So we're going to be inhaling and um, exhaling. You're going to be able to extend the leg and bring it in. And lifting and lowering. So depending on what feels really good to you, we'll be able to circle one direction and the other. And then of course you've got the figure four and then a twist coming into relaxation. So use exactly the cues that I've been giving you and just use them from the chair. And I'll see you down on the floor. Here we are down on the floor, and we're gonna come all the way to our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Any 
extra support you need underneath you, like a folded blanket underneath your head or extra softness underneath your back, please take what you need. Once you're down here, consider picking your hips up and shifting the pelvis just a, a little bit away from the shoulders, that way we're lengthening through the spine. Take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale, settle your body down into the earth underneath you. And you can take as many breaths as you need, close the eyes, soften the gaze, to allow your body to settle. A longer, smoother, softer breath. And then we'll draw that knee in, right knee in towards your chest, give it a little hug. And then just because we're here, let's circle through the ankle in one direction, lazy circles. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction, just for that range of motion. And then we'll come back to stillness, keep a little friendly um, flex in that ankle. And the hands are coming back, right in a cactus or a T. You can take the hands behind your head, should you want to, or palms resting down by your hips. Mm -hmm. And so this is the inhale, moving from the hip on the exhale, we're taking that right foot down to the floor with a bent knee. Inhaling, the knee comes up towards the chest. So the knee is not moving, we're moving from the hip here. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, blending that movement with the breath. Great place to be. If you want to add on, bring the knee in and extend the leg up towards the sky. You can keep a nice bend in that um, knee or draw it towards straight, pushing through the heel as you spread through the toes. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're gonna take the heel down about 45 degrees, the same um, as your left thigh. We're gonna inhale it back up to center. What we want here is the stability through the back body, drawing the belly button down towards the earth, especially on that exhale. Option to stay there, option to lengthen the heel a little bit further down towards the earth, hovering, inhaling and exhaling. Again, nice bend in that knee, working with your body, not against it. The arch is, an arch is not coming into the lower back here, so it really is stabilized through that belly button, reaching down into the earth. Nice and stable. Option to keep this flow going. Option to extend the leg, hover the heel as close to the mat as feels comfortable in your body, and stay three breaths. Use the left foot to stabilize you. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Full body breaths here. And staying for that last, last breath. And then we'll inhale the leg all the way back to center. Bend the knee, taking the heel down towards the seat. Right hand towards that right knee. And from there, we're gonna take nice slow circles through the hip joint, as if you're drawing a circle through the air. Option to stay here with that left knee bent, or you can extend that left leg out long, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe you don't need that right hand on the right knee. Option to stay here with the knee nice and bent, or the inhale, the knee is coming up towards your chest. On the exhale, you can send that leg a little longer, crossing over the left leg if it's extended. So we get slightly bigger circles. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take those circles round in the opposite direction. Range of motion through the hip. And then when you're ready, let's take another two in this direction. 
And then we'll draw the knee up into your chest. If that left leg is extended, let's bend it again, foot to the floor, knee to the sky. And we're taking that right ankle over the top of that left thigh. Adjust how far away that left heel is to you to accommodate for your right hip. And here we are in a figure four. Inhaling and exhaling a longer, smoother, softer breath. Great place to stay here. Nice flex in that right ankle to keep the right knee safe. Option to stay there. Option to draw that in to thread the needle. Drawing the left thigh in towards your ribs any amount. Hands can come outside of the thigh, underneath the knee, in front of that shin. And we're breathing. Breathe into that right hip to add sensation you might want to shift that whole figure four a millimeter or so over towards the left that'll change up the sensation for you longer smoother softer breaths if this is enough for you then you're staying if you want to add in a little bit of strength release any gripping you have with the hands, take the arms in a cactus or a T or behind your head. From there, draw the belly button down towards the spine and then push the right ankle into the left thigh, drawing the left knee up towards the sky. That left heel can be down towards your seat or up towards knee height. And we're here in that strengthening figure four. Inhaling and exhaling as much or as little pressure that um, at that place of the right ankle where it connects to the left thigh. The further in that left knee is towards your nose, the easier it's going to be, the further away. Obviously, the more core you're having to do here. Keep the belly button rooted down. You've got one more breath. And on that exhale, we're taking that left foot towards the floor, unless it was there already. Releasing the right knee, shifting the hips towards the right, extending the left leg out long. Right knee comes in and over to the left, and here we are in our twist. You can take any support you need under that right knee, shin or ankle. If the right shoulder is rooted to keep the neck stable, you can glance over that right shoulder and take some full breaths here as if you were sipping the breath from the soles of your feet all the way up to the crown of your head on the inhale and back down to the soles of your feet on the exhale. Take a few of those full body breaths, softening where there's tension, Allowing yourself to do a whole lot less than you think maybe you need to do. And when you're ready, if the gaze is over that right shoulder, we'll draw the gaze to center. Knee comes up to center and that right foot is planted. Left foot comes in too and we shift the hips back to a central place. Take a few breaths to settle the energy. And when you're ready, that left knee drifts in. Give it a little hug and we're circling through that ankle. One direction, nice and slow. And then back in the opposite direction. When you're ready, we'll keep a nice flex in that ankle. Not too much pressure though. Hands coming down by the hips in a cactus or a T or behind your head. And from here, this is the inhale on the exhale, keeping the bend in the knee from moving from the hip. We'll take that left foot down towards the floor, inhaling, the knee comes back up. And we're stabilizing through the trunk of the body here as we're shifting the left leg up and down. Use that right foot for foundation. Option to stay here. Option next time the knee comes in to stay and continue or extend the left foot up towards the ceiling. Now keeping that ankle soft is going to lessen sensation. Keeping the knee bent, if you want more sensation, straighten through the knee somewhat, push through the heel, spread the toes and draw them back towards the shin. 
This may be enough. If you want to add on, this is the inhale and the exhale. Just draw that lengthened leg towards a 45 degree angle away from you, inhaling back up towards the ceiling. Inhaling and exhaling, keeping the trunk stable again. Notice if there's an arch that draws into the back and allow the belly button to drop down towards the center of the earth. Option to stay here. Option to take that extended leg towards the floor, any amount away from you. Again, we're trying to stabilize through the body. Draw the belly button down, that longer, smoother, softer breath. Longer, smoother, softer movement. Option to keep pulsing. Option to extend the leg any amount at any angle and stay for three breaths. Keep those full body breaths going. Inhaling and exhaling. Stay for one last full breath here for the exhale. And on the inhale, that leg comes back up to center. Draw the knee in, left hand to left knee. And then we're circling through that hip joint. Maybe you need the hand to guide the knee. Maybe you want to release the hand. Option is to send that right leg long. Keep those circles as small as feel comfortable for you. Or the option is, as the inhale, the knee comes up towards the chest. Exhale, extend the leg away from you. You can take as big a circles as you like. You can cross over the right ankle, whichever direction you're going in. And then when you're ready, we're gonna pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Again, always working in harmony with your body, not against it. Longer, smoother, softer movements. Longer, smoother, softer breath. Let's take another three here, unless you feel like resting is best for you. And then next time that knee draws up, we're gonna give it a hug. If that right leg is extended, we'll bend the knee, take the foot to the floor again. And then we'll cross the left ankle over the top of that right thigh. And we're here in a figure four, extending the right heel away from you to ease that left hip. Great place to be right here, focusing in on what your body's telling you. Option to stay, option to draw the right thigh in towards your ribs. And we've got to thread the needle, sending your hands to either side of that right thigh underneath the knee pit or in front of the shin. Both feet are flexed to keep the knees safe if the feet are off the floor. Inhaling and exhaling, breathing into that left hip. Play around with the movement here. Maybe shift that whole figure four over towards the right somewhat or away from it to change sensation. Be honest with yourself. Decide what feels best in your body. Always giving yourself permission to shift and change things. Staying for another few breaths unless you are coming out early. And then when you're ready, releasing the bind if you had one. And sending that left ankle towards that right thigh, the right thigh is drawing back. We've got pressure building up and here we are for another few breaths, strengthening into the core, into the legs. The breath is longer, smoother and softer. Only as much or as little pressure as feels good to you. This is only an option. You've got another two breaths. Keep the breath flowing. And then when you're ready, right foot comes down to the floor. We release that left ankle. Shift the hips to the left side of your mat in your own time and extend the right leg. 
there's another twist you want, go ahead. Otherwise that left knee comes up and over to the right, rolling to the outside of the right hip, keeping the left shoulder grounded and take any support you need under the left knee, shin or ankle. If the left shoulder is rooted, you can glance over that left shoulder, breathing, full body breaths here from the sole of the right foot, inhale up towards the crown of the head, filling up with that energy, that prana, exhaling all the way back down to the sole of your foot, full body breaths, shifting and rearranging yourself to feel better working with your body. Stay for as long as you like or when you're ready, gaze comes to center, left knee draws up to center and the left foot gets planted, right foot meets it and we shift the hips back to center. Any last movements here to release tension, maybe happy baby, just or just curling the knees in, maybe there's another movement you want. And then when you're ready to settle into relaxation, take whichever shape suits you. Remembering as you do that, you do not have to be lying down. You can be on your side, on your back, on your belly, or if you've got a bed close by, or somewhere else that feels more comfortable for you, please take it. Add extra layers, pillows underneath your head, underneath the back of your thighs or knees to soften your lower back, anything that feels good. And then when you're ready, we start to settle in and settle down. Take a breath in when you're ready, all the way to the top of your breath. Hold and exhale like a sigh. And take a new, another few breaths just like that. If you haven't already, closing your eyes or softening your gaze. As you start to allow your body on those exhales to release into the earth underneath you bit by bit. And when that feels as complete as feels right in this moment, let the breath go entirely. And let the breath find its own natural rhythm. As your bones start to settle a little deeper into the earth. As your joints start to feel a little more spacious as the muscles lengthen and loosen. Pay particular attention to the muscles of your face, softening and releasing the expression on your face so everything starts to let go. starting to unwind. And any remnants of tension and tightness in your body, allow those soft, uncontrolled exhales to release the tension and invite in the unwinding. And as thoughts pop into your awareness as they will, notice and then tune them out as if you were tuning a radio dial. You notice the thought, twist the dial and allow it to go to white noise as the thought dissolves. Expanding your awareness into this moment, moment by moment.
stories, any tightness or tension that evolves, invite it to loosen and relax. Being present moment by moment by moment. Knowing in this moment everything is as it should be. There's nothing that needs to be figured out. There's nothing you need to do here. It is an allowing, a time for allowing and being. Stay here for as long as feels good to you. If you wish to stay for longer in your relaxation, just tune my words out, allow them to flow over your awareness, drifting over your attention, so you can stay in your restful peacefulness. For those of you who wish to finish your practice, without needing to move a muscle or blink an eye, feel into the space around you, sense into it. Notice the support underneath you of the earth. Start to invite in a little deeper breath in. Exhale, let it go and unwind. Continue the breath as you breathe in through the soles of your feet, imagining filling up with energy all the way through your body to the crown of your head on the inhale. Exhale, send that awareness down towards your feet. And allow that awakening breath to start to awaken movements in your body that feel good. Fingertips, toes, head can lazily move from side to side, or any other movement. Again, working with your body and not against it. Allow bigger movements to ripple through your body, should that feel good to you. And if you're on your back, maybe your knees draw up towards the ceiling, washing those knees side to side, or curling to one side for a few moments. And wherever you are, if you're finishing your practice, we'll make our way up to a place that we want to finish up today. Settling in and settling down. Rooting to rise, hands in a gesture of closing today, which suits you. Take a breath in when you're ready. On the exhale, allow your chin to soften towards your beautiful heart. And thank yourself for your practice, for your attention, for the movement, for working with your body and not against it today. Thank you for joining me from my heart to yours, wishing you a wonderful week ahead.